So roughly two years ago, I've made a series of video regarding the Unity transport layer, the um, lower level API for Unity. And it was going quite well. And we had a little bit of fun. We made a multiplayer game. We made a multiplayer chat server as well. And then a couple of weeks after I released that tutorial, they deprecate the thing and we still don't know where it's at. So um, today I'm here to present you that I'm going to be making a very short three to four episode series about uh, Unity multiplayer. I'd like to get another multiplayer game going, but the problem I have today is I just don't know what to do it with. And if you Google a little bit of, um, of solution for Unity multiplayer, you're going to find out that there is a, there is a bunch of options out there, but not many people appreciate it. And, um, the one from Unity themselves is kind of lacking. It's been lacking for quite a while, you could say, and people are really mad at it. Uh, but I, I think we're going to start to get into a good direction. Um, at least that's what the, their timeline says. And I found something. So I found something. I've Googled a bit. Um, I was hesitant to create my own stack with uh, C sharp sockets. I was hesitant to go with mirror. I was hesitant to go with any other third party solution, whether that be smart Fox, whether that be photon, all of that. Um, I didn't want to have any of that because the problem with photon, the problem with smart Fox and all these other external solution is that they're going to charge you a cost for hosting. So it was very important for me that um, the hosting was done by myself. I take care of the server, I host the server, and I don't rely on paying another company to host my server because the truth is, from what I've seen, um, the cost that they give you, they quote you, is never really the real deal and you end up being like over budget with just that. I decided that I'm not going to be creating my own stack. Instead, I'm going to be using uh, Unity stack, a new one. So here I have a Unity post from 2019 that actually got updated in 2020, April. Um, and it tells you, hey, which, which side of network do you need? What do you need to do? Uh, do you need your own stack? Do you need peer-to-peer? -peer? If so, yeah, you might blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it tells you basically which stack you want to take depending on what your game is. But the really important thing here that I find is this option right here. When is your game going to be released? And here they mention it's going to be during Q2 2020, Q1 2021. Um, then you should be making your own stack. But on the left hand side, they say Q2 2021, which is in roughly two months from now. So starting to be interesting in their timeline, they're planning on pushing this forward very, very soon. So what they're trying to push is the new dots netcode stack. Um, and I'm not super familiar with dots. I've used it a bit, uh, when it was called ECS. I uh, had a little bit of fun, but at the same time had a lot of trouble getting it to work, like many people. Um, and I also have some people in the community, in the Discord community, that are using this uh, .NET code and they don't seem to be enjoying it that much. So I'm thinking that I am going to be skipping that part. I'm not going to be taking the .NET code. And what I mean by that is that .NET code stack is built on top of the Unity transport package, and that's the one we'll be using. So we're going just a, a little bit lower level. So this solution right here does not use ECS. It does use the job system, which I'm fine with, um, but it does not use ECS. So you're not gonna need to change your editor. You're not gonna need to install entities. You're not gonna have to code in such a way that, you're not gonna have to code in such a way that it's data oriented. So uh, model behavior is gonna be fine in this case. All right, so I think we're ready. I invite you to subscribe to the channel, of course. That'd be really helpful to me. Like the video if that helped you out or if you're hyped about it. Um, the first video of this series is going to be released along with this one and then one video every two days or so. Um, I do plan on having four videos. I have to make them. I have to research them before I do. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.